Jeez, look at this. $30,000 camera. Wow. Let's see some of the reviews. Oh. <laughs> look at this guy. I can take highly detailed pictures of my children who I'm no longer able to see because of gross negligence. Highly recommended. <laughs> nice. Hey, what's up everybody? James D here. Um, the video I came out with, or I made, showing my part list got corrupted somehow. So, I'm just going to have to skip that all together and go to my setup now. Um, there you can see it's in the Corsair Obsidian 800D. This case is amazing. There is so much room. I'm going to take the side panel off, but uh, I mean, yeah, I, I don't have that far side panel on yet. <laughs> I mainly just want to finish up the cathodes and stuff before I do that. I mean, you. You can see up there, I've got a 360 radiator and a shroud and fans. So I'll just take off the side panel, which is really easy to do. There's just a button back there and take it right off. But you can see I uh, ended up having to do that because the reservoir requires dual bay which I do not have, so I just bent the thing up and both sides and it went right in. And this fan controller, I'm gonna end up having an RMA because touch screen don't work. It worked once, and I was able to get these scythe or scythe, whatever, ultra cases down to 60% because those are beasts. But anyway. I had, I'm just going through the little stuff before I get to the big stuff. This I had to be really creative with zip ties because if you get this case there is not support for 120 millimeters on here or on this one here. I had to be creative with the zips again. Alright, now to the good stuff. I got the EVGA classified 760, not 759, but so what. And uh, I don't know if you can kind of see in there. I ended up switching that. It was black, now it's a red for the EK motherboard water block. And I've got that Swift Tech XT sitting there, doing a great job. See the temps are at 32 while running Winamp. It's pretty damn good. Um, oh, now the 26, whatever. And 12 gigs of G Skill Perfect Storm 2000. It's actually a pretty good cover right there. And then uh, I got the Fieser 360 Rad up there with the shroud and and I, I had three of the okay this was kind of a real pisser I had three of the scythes or scythe whatever three of them up here and the screws that came with the shroud didn't support 38 millimeter wide fans so I had to go and run all around get these custom screws Finally got back, and the damn fans were blocking the water block. So I'd take the freaking things off and ended up just stripping these from the Antec 1200 case. And they fit pretty good. I mean, nothing's being constricted or anything like that. Flow is pretty damn good. And I've still got the 285s and the physics card and the sound card right there which I ended up putting a thermal pad right there just because it, it's making some contact with the card. Get a good shot in there. There we go. See it? And, you know, 
anything could happen here. And I purposely made this hose and this one longer in case for some reason I would have to take this out. I mean, it, it's just an in-case thing. And I, I take this empty panel out so that I can fill the reservoir and all that. Um, and the pump, the Swift Tech Uber 655, and it's got a Coulon speed controller. It's actually pretty nice to see in there. But, and I, right now, I might change this. I've got blue and then green. That I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna get uh, Logistic, Logistics LED stick because the orange is just intolerable. And I also, I don't know if you can see in there. Shit. Well, anyways, I've got uh, two LEDs in there right now that I just hooked up to three volt lithium ion batteries. And I'm gonna actually change those from the UV to red because the red, I mean, look at that. Even the orange, that really brings out, here, focus in there. That really brings out the water flow in there. So I'm gonna make that red. And yeah, other than the touch screen not working, this thing is pretty good, this NZXT Century 2. But this case is incredible. I mean, some have said, you know, you can put two 360s or two 120.3s into a Lion Lee, but this thing is really nice. I mean, look at this cable management in here. Doesn't even look like anything's hardly connected. That, I attribute that completely to that grommeting. I mean, I'm not an expert on cable management by any means. That tape on there is just the thermal pad, or, you know, thermal sensor. So, yeah, that's pretty much my setup now. I haven't really tried overclocking. I've just got it at four gigahertz right now. And I've got the G skill at 1900 because 12 gigs, I haven't been able to get it stable at 2000 yet. So, yeah, man, that's where I'm at right now. Oh, also, this fan, okay, the fans that come with this case suck. This fan originally was an outtake. Flip it around, okay? Put a powerful fan in there, flip it around, make it an intake. And make sure you have a powerful one down here as an intake as well. Make sure you have a powerful one here blowing in, because otherwise, man, everything just suffocates. Go to uh, this guy that does Time to Live Customs. He did a five-part series on this case, and that really helped. I mean, what, I'm getting temperatures in the 40s? Even the cards, man, they're in the 40s, which is better than my Antec case. So, yeah, that's where we're at, baby. These hot swap things are really nice here, too. Just open them up, put your hard drives in, that's it. Don't see any wires, nothing. So... All right, well, I'll be back when I put the red LEDs, when I get the red cathode, and hopefully I get a friggin' fan controller that's touchscreen works. So, <laughs> whatever. All right, well, thanks for watching, and stay tuned, because there's probably other stuff coming up. All right, talk later.